Hello guys, this is Gio from Smart Home Makers and today we're going to look at a new feature in Home Assistant 2021.4 release. We'll be looking at automation debugging under 5 minutes. Let's roll the intro. So let's jump into Home Assistant. First thing you're going to need to do, as usual, you're going to go and need to create a snapshot and upgrade your Home Assistant to the latest version. I've already done that, so I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to my Automations tab. I'm going to show you how the automation debugging actually works. So to go on the history button, click on the history tab and you can see immediately here the traces. Now this will not be available unless the automation actually triggered after you upgraded. So let me give you an example. So let me show you an automation like for example this one it hasn't been triggered since the 4th of April. So that's a couple of days ago at the time of recording. So I click on it, I get no traces found, which is completely normal. So if I were to go and click run actions, for example, now if I go back up, I can see it's been triggered and I can go on the traces, click on the traces, and I can see the sort of parameters and I can see the whole thing. Now we can see this little graphical interface where it gives us some idea of what's going on. By clicking on each tab, you can find out some information. So this motion sensor has a condition. The condition, for example, is that the, the light level is below 20, so it's dark. And you can see it triggered as false. And over here, you have some more information of actually what's been executed. So you can see the service, light dot turn on, and you can see the entity ID that has been used. Now in the drop down list, you have several types of uh, triggering events. So if I go and I keep on clicking, I can see different events. This was triggered at this particular time and you can see what's been going on. So you can go and debug specific runs of your automation and you can see that different uh, things have happened. And this will be quite useful in case you have very complex automations that you need to debug. If you're completely new to Home Assistant and it's the first time you see it, I've got a free course down, link in the description down below that will accelerate your Home Assistant progress and get you up and running very quickly. Let me show you another example. Now in this automation over here, this was a time-based automation, basically turns off the porch light after five minutes. I've got in the step details information about when it was executed, it was executed here at this time. I can click on the trace timeline and I can find out actually what triggered it. So this has been triggered by a, a specific state of another entity. Because the state of the entity changed, then this triggered automatically. So anytime the porch light turns on, it will turn off after five minutes. Doesn't matter what process actually turned it on. And we can see it's called the service light dot turn off. And then eventually the uh, switch, which is basically behind the light porch, got turned off and you can see how long it took also in terms of the performance. In the logbook entry, you can see it sort of from a more visually uh, pleasing way. You can see it's been triggered, you can see it's been turned off, and you can see this has been turned off. So these two are linked together because uh, this slide is actually a switch. And here you've got the code of the configuration that you can uh, use and reference back. Now, as always, big shout out and big thanks to all of the Home Assistant developers that put a lot of effort in this release. There are many more things that have actually changed in this release. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can find out the full details of what has changed in Home Assistant. If you want to keep up to date with the latest Home Assistant features, then subscribe to the channel. If you've enjoyed this video, give this a like so I understand if you want to see more of this content. Click on this next video of seven automation tips with NFC tag. I'll see you in that video and I hope you enjoy it. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.